me. Okay, here we are. No, I'll turn right up. Uh, you uh, over here? Yeah. yeah. We're, here, we're here at SAG at the uh, Picket Rally uh, at uh, the SAG headquarters. And this is Tom Bauer. He wants to say a few words. Let us know what you think about this contract and the whole deal. Yeah, well, you know, we've talked about a lot of things here. It's all about the employers, the management, the AMPTP, the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers want to eliminate our residuals, which is more than half of our income and more than half of our pension and health contribution. We know that. But here's what we can do about it. We can ask our leadership, our NED National Executive Director, David White, and the board, who just had their ass handed to them, in a way they didn't expect. They, they got shafted. They thought they were going to go in there and make a nice, quiet deal. They found out these people are not reasonable. They want to kill the union. David White told me today, they are out to kill the union, okay? So whatever happens, we have to vote no on the contract. Whenever that ballot is sent to us as members, we have to vote no. We don't have to strike. We don't need a strike authorization. We need to vote no on the contract. As long as we don't accept it, what are they going to do about it? Are they going to lock us out? I don't think so. They can't make their big, big monster, mega monster movies that are at an all-time high. They're doing more box office. They always do in bad times. In bad economic times, the movie business is more successful than anything else. People can't go on vacation, they can't buy expensive cars, they can go to the movie and get a little relief, get a little, uh, you know, a little entertainment. Movie business is great. They can't make their movies until they make a deal with us. They can do television, they can do internet, they can do all of this, don't accept the contract. Now, the, the, the end game is, the final thing we have to do, we have to get the leadership to send out a referendum asking the members to choose which union they want to represent them as their collective bargaining agent, SAG or AFTER. We will accept whatever the outcome of that is because everybody knows the SAG contract is ten times better than the AFTER contract. People working AFTER can sunset those jobs in until they end. All new work will go under the SAG contract. We need to do that. In the meantime, get down in front of the guild with Rico and all of these other people, Scott Wilson, from 9 to 5 every day, every day, Monday through Friday. Show your presence. It isn't about those guys over there. It's about you. So come and, and show up. Okay? All right. Uh, stand right there. And uh, that was uh, Tom Bauer, one of the many actors here at SAG uh, today, Saturday, February 21st. Uh, showing solidarity and uh, arguing about this contract. Uh, there was many people here in the front, the side, and the back, and we had a great turnout today. Growing. If you didn't make it, growing every day. Exactly. If you didn't make it today, Scott, myself, and many others will be here Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You got it. All right. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm going to vote no. If the contract looks the way it looked back in, on June 30th of last year, and I think it does, I'm going to vote no. I have to vote no. And I'm voting no for myself, but I'm voting no for the next generation of actors, too. Because if this contract goes through, they are really going to be screwed. They won't be able to make a living the way I made a living. Right. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to vote no unless, they, unless I see some really big changes in that contract. Otherwise, it's just a pile of manure with powdered sugar sprinkled over it. Thing, right? Yeah. Uh, would you like to say your name? Dave Clennon. Right. Dave Clennon, actor, member, Screen Actors Guild. And you're willing to fight for your guild, right? You bet. That's uh, why we're out here today. Exactly. And we're going to fight, fight, fight until we get a good contract. Whatever it takes, right? However, whatever it takes and however long it takes. If we have to work under the old contract for three more years or until I drop, I would rather do that than take this new contract because that's going to seal our doom.